Welcome back to SciTech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. In this video today, I want to show you how to do another infill design, and I want to build a slope. What I've got here is I have a job site that does have some models out here, but I've got this tabletop on the top of this uh, pile right here, and I've got a road down here, but what I want to do is clean this slope up right here. I don't need to actually have someone build me a design because all I'm trying to do is match this road to that tabletop and I want to just give it a nice slope. I can give it a 3 to 1 or you can do it in percentages. It looks like someone's already kind of started on it and actually dumped some material there and actually started to cut it but it's not finished down there. So what I want to do is actually match this existing grade the best I can right here. We're going to do an infill design, but the best way to do it is not from building it from the top up there. I'm going to use an ex a line that I'm going to shoot down along the bottom right here. We're going to go and actually use the greater tip and shoot points, and then I'm going to offset that up at the percentage. But in order to do that, let's, uh, let's get in the blade and find out what the existing slope is kind of sitting at right now. So we're going to go set on that slope, and I'm going to check the existing existing percent that it's on. Remember, if you aren't sure what your settings are, is to go into the units inside the machine uh, screen here to know what um, you're sitting at or what your percentage is on the screen. So at the bottom right here, if you don't have percentage set um, for existing cross slope, this is not, that's design cross slope, but I've got existing. You can go into the tablet with the gear and you can go in here and go to uh, units and you can change right there your main fall and your cross slope between the different options right there. So now that it's on percentage, I'm going to look and see what just the general slope is right here. I'm not sitting perfectly on the ground. If I go right on it, it's about a 17, but I do want to fill it in just a little bit back here. So I'm going to go about a 22 to 23. So in order to do an infill design, if you haven't done one to get started, is go ahead and go into your shovel with the gear go to job setup and in here where you've got your project and then your mode you can go between depth and slope design and infield I'm gonna go infield and the reason why I've got the little red box there is because I don't have any of I haven't created any yet so there's this black box to the right side of design you hit that and we're gonna go ahead and create one at the bottom here so you've got level slope and alignment and section I'm going to do the alignment section because I need to actually shoot multiple points. I don't have points already on here in my, my job site. I need to use the focus point of the machine and actually gather those. So that's the difference here, and I'm going to do the focus point. Now, this is step one of three. If you haven't done this, what this does in step one is, is you're going to create the points. You can either edit the elevations or edit the alignment in between them or just leave it as is, which is what's what we're going to do. But we have to actually gather the points and make the alignment. A couple things to note in here is the blade tip. So I'm going to use the right side of my tip. Make sure you got that carrot on the right side of the tip there. If not, it's going to make everything off the left side. So let's go ahead and back off this slope again and start up at the beginning. Now it doesn't have to be a straight line. That's the beauty of alignment and section. So I'm going to come all the way back here, which is probably a little further than where I needed to start, but I like to overshoot a little bit. So what I'm going to do is straighten my mast up, set the blade tip down, look it's on the right side, and then this yellow option or icon with the plus is how I take my first point. So there's my northing, easting, and an elevation. Now all I need to do is just simply move forward and take a bunch of uh, shots as I go along here. When you're in a bend, take a little bit more than um, not enough, if, I, if you will, because there isn't a way in here right now to actually arc and actually bend these like you could in CAD. So take a little bit more. So then the next one is a plus. So you're basically making an alignment as you go. So on this bend here, I'm going to take just a couple extra shots until I straighten out. And then I'm going to give myself a nice long shot because the elevation doesn't change much down through this. So hopefully this makes sense. It's a lot like as if you were to use a GPS rover and just go along and create an alignment and take shots, making a line string. 
you're doing the exact same thing, just using the machine. So I'm going to use the existing toe slope here. And every time I'm going to set it down so it matches the existing grade. Now what I'm going to do is kind of straighten out a little bit and go down here a little further. Because I don't want to take a whole bunch of shots because then it kind of makes it to where your finished product's going to be a little chattery. So don't worry that the left side is off the ground a little bit. Just set it back down on the right. And you can see I'm continuing to make an alignment here. We'll take one more here. And then on this bend, since I do want to bend it a little bit, I am going to take a couple more uh, a little bit closer together. You can see how I have spaced them out. So now as I turn, um, bends and turns do get a little bit tricky with this system, so don't worry if it's not perfect. But I think that's enough right there to actually get us going. Now, I have the beginning where it has a couple extras. I straighten out and then a couple more at the end right here. These can be edited because right now I'm in plan view. If I go to elevation, you can see the elevation in between them. I don't want to edit any of those because I basically use the machine to put them right where I want them. But it is able to be changed if you needed to. So plan view, once again, shows you this. You can hit this button and edit segments if you needed to. You could go in between and change angles and degrees. I'm just showing you what's here, but I'm not going to actually change any of that. I like what I've got. Now I want to offset to the side. So now the next step, if I hit next, is going to take me to step two. But i got to pick how I want to build it. Am I going to use on screen to build it myself? Or am I going to use the focus point of the machine to match or mirror something that's already been done? No, I'm going to do on screen. So note over here, I am a percentage. If you want that in ratio, like three to ones, four to ones, you got to go change that in your units. But I already know what I want because I set on the slope. So this Z line right here represents that line that I just created. I can build it to the side after, but right now I want to just build from that. But what I do want, so I don't run off the design, is I'm going to build a little bit of a flat spot before I go up, and I'll show you how to move all that here in just a second. So you have two ways to do it. One is to use your finger and actually create it this way by dragging it. But remember, it's going to be a little clunky because it's in a scale. I don't want to do that. I'm going to key it in over here. So I'm going to use the plus button to start. I'm going to go about 10 feet flat, which will give me the roadway that I've got right there. So I'm going to leave that at zero. So I've got about 10 feet of flat design. Then I'm going to build up. So I'm going to hit the plus one more time to get started on my next one. I'm going to overbuild. That slope is not 50 feet um, in, in slope, but I don't want to run off design. I just want to build up and I'll just grade till I hit my tabletop on the top up there. I'm going to put in 50 feet and I'm going to give it, I think I said about a 23% is what I want to do. It would be a minus if I wanted to go down, so we're going to leave that a positive. So, in essence, very, very simply, I have built a flat spot and then a slope. But I don't want the, my actual toe of slope to start right there because then it's too far over. We're going to change that on the next screen right here. We're going to go ahead, if I feel good with this, and hit next, which will take me to my last screen, which is 3 of 3. So I'm going to zoom in and show you what I'm going to do here. This is in plan view, looking down on it, and that's 3D. I can actually look at the alignment in a three-dimensional world and say, okay, from right here, I want my actual toe slope to be that line right there. There's this button over here that allows you to move it over. So now that line right there, that blue line, is the line that I shot with the blade, and it's going to push that over into the road for me. So you can see now basically the bend in it as I went around the corner. I can extend each end if I need to by giving it just a little more so I don't run off. I can give that end 10 feet, and I can give the other end 10 feet. It'll just project it a little bit further, and then I will call it my slope just to give it a name. We're good to go. We hit apply. And now on the screen here, I have an actual design saved. 
I can edit it and delete it if I need to. If it was done wrong, I need to change something, not me in the world. You don't have to reshoot it. You can simply go in and edit it. But I'm going to hit select. On here, I don't want the extra line work, though, for my design on my job site. So I'm going to hit none selected so it only shows my design. Now I can hit apply, and we can actually see what I've got. So on plan view here, I can look back and see what I've built and all the little bends and corks in it. And on this one, you can see that I actually have a slope uh, coming off of that right tip right there. So let's go ahead and uh, go look at it. I'm going to set down on the exact same spot that I checked the slope earlier and look at it. And you can see that it is built a little bit steeper than what I wanted originally, but that's okay because I've got excess material out in front of me and excess material behind me. So now it's just a little bit of a game of cut and fill. So I'm a little bit deep right here, no problem. We're gonna go ahead and just go start grabbing all that material. Okay, now that we're done building that slope, let's see how it looks. From the very top to the bottom, nice consistent slope all the way down. The top, I just basically built it, if you remember, fit to 50 feet. So 50 feet extended up above the top there. But all I did is just built it till it was uh, kind of what I call a catch point. So. This is how you do infield designs using um, any machine running Earthworks doing the alignment and section option. Just remember, it's harder to build it from the top down, so just build it from the bottom, bottom here. Make your alignment down and then offset up. The other thing you could have did is put an actual V-ditch at the bottom right here if you needed to catch the water. But don't be afraid to learn how to do these things with your machines. That's why this uh, option is even put in there. So don't hesitate to push buttons and learn how to make your life easier if you don't have a model out in the field. So thank you for watching this video from Site Taking Her Mountain Earthworks training videos on infield designs.